just set it up. If you're not sure and you want to put it pretty close to the top, that's fine. You don't need to worry about smashing the, the mirror if you go very slowly. You will feel it stop and that's then lower it down a hair and you're good. The issue that we have with both focusing and when people are cleaning the lenses is they will be very aggressive. Um, cleaning this lens will not change your alignment. You will not screw up anything. This is a very safe operation. Um, assuming that you don't drop the lens on the floor. But I've done it, it happens. If we've got spare lenses, it's not, you know, if it, it's not the end of the world. Unless it's breaking every time that you're using, which I'm gonna start questioning you. But that's... Oh, come on. And then basically, it's just tightening this back down about hand tight. Don't over torque it, please, because then it, A, it has a chance of breaking the lens, but also it makes it impossible to get out for somebody else. Same deal with this. That's the issue I have over here. A lot of times they over tighten it. And uh, one of our nozzles, I think it's on that one, has been over tightened so much that it's now actually really loose. And so you can't tighten it, it anymore. Um, and, oh, this lens may actually need to be replaced. Now that I put it back on, it does look like there may be a minor crack forming in it. If you want to look through it and see a light, I don't know if your camera will pick I it up. I see. You can angle it. I can it. see with my eye. Cool. I can aim it at a light, which sometimes is easier. Yeah, I can see it with Maya that it's cracked. This is referred to as a key. Um, I know why. I'm not sure I agree with that terminology. Basically, we unscrew this. This does not need to be cleaned. Sometimes I'll throw a little degreaser if it's really gummed up here, not the end of the world. This is where your lens is. The key can safely go in there to unscrew effectively what is the key washer. Now, before I take this out, there's a couple ways we can do it. Microfiber cloths are great. Sometimes if I can't find one that's actually clean and usable, I'll just grab an extra lens wipe or two and kind of lay it down. Um, but we want to be able to set the lens on the surface without scratching it any more than it may already be. Um, as a warning, it's really tempting do not use your finger to screw this in or out, not just because you may get the lens dirty. This metal is very roughly machined. I've gotten metal splinters doing that before and they hurt a lot. So I just, yeah, don't do as I'm doing right now. Um, okay, and that is our lens. So since we're cleaning, I don't mind holding it. One thing to note, there are sides to the lens. There's a flat side and then a slightly curved side. When the lens is in the machine, curved side is always up. So when you're putting it back in like this, curve side will be down, curve side up. It's kind of intuitive because when you're screwing this back on, you don't want to scratch. If, if you were to put it in upside down, you'd start scratching the lens. So there's that. Um, lens wipes. Mm -hmm. um, the important thing is make sure that they are for glass, plastic, and polycarbonate. Do not get like the acetone based ones. Those will cause damage. These are the same ones that we buy in bulk and have in the kitchen area of the first aid kit for members to use for their glasses. The next thing down here, let me move some of the stuff out of the way. There's a lenses and mirrors kit. This doesn't have too much that we need. Um, we are looking for... Watch, it's not going to be in here now that I need it. Okay, so somebody put it in the wrong bin, and that's might have very well been me. First trick is to pull this tube out. Now, right now these connectors are terrible, so that can be the hardest part about this whole thing is actually getting that tube out. Next thing, this gold nut right here, it's supposed to be gold, it's dull. While holding this, loosen that, and you'll be able to slide this out. Um, We'll get back to putting that back together later if you want to.